is going on, fellow Autobots Decepticons? Welcome back to Rollout Nation, and we're here today to do two videos that I have to do because they are very important and they involve a lot about story and a lot about characters. So, in this video, we're going to talk about the main villain for Transformers The Last Night because we have, we do not know yet who is the main villain. And, you know, side villains also so we have to discuss it right now so we mainly have three runners for the main villain for Transforce last night so I'm just gonna tell you right now who the three main villains or three villains that we could possibly have in Transforce the last night we'll run down all three of them and then we'll narrow it down to the one that we think we want the most so so let's first start off with Galvatron so Galvatron, we know, was was a side villain in Transformers: Age of Extinction. He didn't play much of a huge role in the movie, but he was still there nonetheless to set up Transformers: The Last Night. And I do feel like, because we do know that there are two separate storylines for for Transformers: The Last Night. We have one involving Bumblebee and the rest of the Autobots on Earth, and one of Optimus Prime going out to find the Creators. So. We know that part. I think that for the main villain for Bumblebee and the other Autobots, I still believe it could be Galvatron, mainly because he's still alive and Optimus Prime's like last request to the Autobots before he went off into space was please protect Kate Yeager from any threat, and Galvatron's a threat, so I would assume that you know that's what they would be protecting Kate Yeager from. So. That's the first one. The second one, now this is the one that I kind of want to discuss a little bit because this one's been in talks for a little bit, and that is Nemesis Prime. So, there's been a lot of uh, theories going around about Nemesis Prime possibly being a villain for the creator's side, the creator's storyline, not the Bumblebee and Autobots storyline, the Optimus Prime finding creator storyline. There's theories going around that maybe Optimus Prime could possibly become evil. And I did a video about it a long time ago, so if you guys want to go check it out, I'll leave it in my cards. But, um, yeah, there is a, a, there's a possibility that he could be evil, and to my, and to that I say, guys, I don't think it's going to happen. I'm just saying, it, it doesn't seem likely because, um, let's be real, Paramount, Paramount Pictures and Hasbro are not going to go, like, top Marvel quality on this thing. They're just going to be doing what they can with the franchise and trying to establish a universe around it for not just Transformers but with their other properties as well like Micronauts, GoBots, G.I. Joe, Rom, Rom the Space Knight. They're trying to establish a shared universe for their company so doing an evil Optimus Prime I eh, I don't know I mean that's that's a little risky I mean that depends on how the audience takes it and I don't know, I mean, that's just, that's a win-lose situation. You can win the fans, but you can also lose the main audience as well, because they're like, oh, wow, now Prime's evil. So, I don't know, that's that, that, that's a risky one. I don't know how you're going to deal with that one, but um, how would I feel about it? I would like to see a Nemesis Prime, and definitely if, if Optimus Prime becomes Nemesis Prime, I would love to see that, but I just don't think that the movie's going to do it yet anyway. Like, doing a Nemesis Prime character maybe, but not doing a, you know, Optimus Prime becoming Nemesis Prime thing. I don't think that's going to happen, but I think a Nemesis Prime character will definitely happen in the universe eventually. So, um, so that's that. And the last one is the one that we've been talking about a lot on this channel, and that is Unicron. If Unicron could be the main villain. Now, we've talked about it millions of times on this channel, and I'm here to say that maybe... Unicron could possibly be the villain for Optimus Prime's timeline storyline because he's trying to go find the creator. They never said anything about creators. They just said the creator. That's what I heard about in the uh, Jublu.com. I heard creator and create hers. So maybe we're going to see Unicron because maybe he is the creator of the Transformers or maybe he is the, the dark evil spirit that we all know and love. Maybe he is in the movie. Maybe we, maybe you never know. Maybe there's a storyline involving Unicron with like the knights and all that. So I still believe we could see Unicron in this movie, either being an after credit scene, either being the small cameo. We're gonna see him. I just feel like we are gonna see him in this movie 
either way, I just feel like we are. So, so out of all of these villains, who is the one that is more likely to appear? Well, I'm here to say that it's Galvatron, because Galvatron is has already been appeared in Age of Extinction, and he's definitely going to come back for the last night, and he's definitely going to play a role in the Bumblebee storyline. So. There's that. We don't know much about the other two. Nemesis Prime, I just feel like it's not going to happen. But Unicron is a possibility. We could definitely see him if, what are, in terms of what they do with that, with Optimus Prime storyline. So, um, that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. You'll be seeing a second video today about the creator. And, uh, yep, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And we are Rollout Nation, and we always roll out. And let me know in the comment section below who you think the main villain is for Transformers 5. See you next time.